folks. Welcome to your first lesson in Swift for Beginners. My name is Afraz, and I wanted to take this first lesson as an opportunity to briefly introduce myself and provide an overview of what we will be covering in this course. So with that being said, um, as I mentioned, my name is Afraz. I am a software engineer at Microsoft focusing on iOS and uh, respectively Swift. I have been in the industry for about 10 years now. I created my first iPhone app back in 2009, which is uh, ridiculous to think about now. Uh, I've published several apps at the App Store, over 80 of which uh, around 20 of them have reached the top 10 charts. And yeah, I've been working with Swift for several years. Uh, in this course, we're going to be covering Swift for absolute beginners, uh, no prior software programming experience necessary whatsoever. Um, we will be going over a variety of topics such as variables, constants, classes, functions, statics, um, basically all the language features that are used professionally uh, and that you'll find most common uh, on a beginner scale. Uh, I will say there are several other features that uh, do exist that are not used as commonly, but we'll learn how to learn what we don't know uh, towards the end of this course. Uh, the way that we will be progressing through this course is by explanations and examples. Um, this is how I personally learned as well as taught others. So with that being said, um, let's set up our environment uh, and get some kind of housekeeping stuff out of the way so you can uh, get rolling in the next video with some code. So first and foremost, uh, you will need a Mac to follow along with this course as Xcode, the tool that we will be using to write our code is only available for Mac uh, by Apple. So if you have a Mac, keep on watching. Um, the second thing we'll need is Xcode. So Xcode is kind of like an editor. Well, it is an editor where you can write code. And particularly Xcode is very good for iOS, uh, Objective-C and Swift. Um, so what you're going to want to do is open up the App Store on your Mac and up here in the search bar, you're going to want to search for Xcode. And of course it's free and you'll see it right here. It's developed by Apple. Some cool screenshots here. Um, so you're going to want to download and install this. It's, it's quite large as there is quite a bit of tooling in here to help you develop pretty fast. So I would recommend having about five or six gigs free on your computer to install it. It takes um, a little bit of time to install. But yeah, once it's installed, what you're going to want to do is um, open up Xcode. And we are looking right here at something called a playground. So playground is uh, not an application that you create like a project in Xcode, but rather what it is is uh, like a little space for you to play with Swift, um, thus the name playground. So you can write code in here and you get a preview of what it does here. Um, so what you're going to want to do is do file new. Whoops. You can actually, when you, when you open up uh, Xcode, you will see the following window. You'll see this welcome window. Um, and I've already clicked through this, but you're going to basically click create new playground. And once you click create new playground, you're going to be presented with this view. And this is where we're going to be demonstrating um, all of our examples and kind of writing code and going through it. Um, I'll be providing all my resources that I use and all the code that we write uh, and downloadable uh, files for you to follow along and reference material. What I also want you to do is uh, make one quick edit in here for your environment, um, which is going to help us see a real time preview of what we're writing here on the right. Um, so whatever we type here, we'll see the preview here. So what, what you want to do is go down here in the bottom left and you want to click and hold on this and you'll see this menu and make sure you have this automatically run option selected. And what this does is every single time you write a new line of code, the editor will interpret it real time automatically and show the output here. So if you're not really keen on understanding what this is currently doing, don't worry about it. Um, again, this is a preface lesson. So yeah, that, that about does it for this video. Uh, I'm really excited to be making this Swift for Beginners course. It'll really help you get the foundations down to get into iOS development, to get a professional job in iOS. 
um, and really learn the foundations and fundamentals that I think a lot of uh, software devs and engineers uh, overlook. So with that being said, welcome again. Uh, leave a like and comment below if you have any questions or uh, are excited for this course, and I will see you in the later lessons. Thank you.